Hello, my name is Adolfo Neto. I'm a professor at the Federal University of Technology, Paraná, and today I'm going to talk about pattern matching in Elixir. It's required knowledge so that you understand the contents of this video, that you already know how variables, values, types, and IX work in Elixir. In Elixir, the match operator is represented by the equals sign. The first examples I'm going to show you are about matching two values. It's not exactly useful in practice, but it helps us understand the, the concept of pattern matching. So let's start with these two cases. Four matches four and four matches five. I'm going to open IX. I'm using Elixir 1.10.3. And I'm going to ask IX to evaluate this expression. Four matches four. The result is four. Why? Because four matches four. What about four matches five? The result is going to be a match error because uh, 4 doesn't match 5. 4 matches 4 returns 4. 4 matches 5 returns an, a, a match error. And you see that it also says that no match of right hand side value 5. So it kind of blames the right hand side. This is important. We'll talk about it, about it later. So the second case is when you are trying to match a variable to a value. So as I already said, I expect you to already know what a variable means. Let's try x match 4. Well, it works. How did it work if x is a variable and I, I hadn't even, I, I hadn't said anything about this variable before? How does it work in this case? Let's understand. x match 4 returns 4, but it also makes, it also assigns the value 4 to x. So let's go back to ix and now we are going to ask the value of x. It's 4. So if I try another variable z, well, it says oh, compile where there is no function z. It doesn't even think that z is a function or, or a, a, sorry, it doesn't even know that I'm thinking, when I wrote Z, I'm thinking of Z as a variable, but it's also, it's expecting it to be a function of arith zero. So if I do Z matches one, it works. And now Z is a variable and its value is one. So that's what pattern matching does. It assigns values to variables. If I do for equal x, it also works. But this time we, we already had 4 on x. So it, it just says so 4 is equal to 4. But if I do something like this, 5 matches x, it doesn't work because it says there's no match of right hand side value 4. So you see, it doesn't. If I do x matches 5, it works and now x is 5. But if I do, let's change again the value. 6 match x, it doesn't work and it doesn't 
assign uh, 6 to x. So the assignment only works if the variable is on the left side of the match. This is another example of 3 equals y. Again, it says, oh, I don't know what y is, so I cannot match. The important point here that we're going to keep and explore more in next videos is that the left and the right side, they have different properties. Only the left side can assign a valuable, sorry, only the left side can assign a value to a variable. In the next video, we are going to discuss expressions. We, we can have expressions on, I don't know, yes, I believe we can have expressions on the right side, but not on the left side and data structures such as tuples, lists, and also we can see how we can use pattern matching for defining functions, the pin operator, and also how can we can use pattern matching in case expressions. For this class, I just used the material on Elixir School and also the, this blog post pattern matching in Elixir, the basics. See you next video. Bye bye.